So the last batch here, they are at about two weeks now. They're still in the brooder. They're about ready for some more space here. But I did a thing. I went ahead and bought a second incubator yesterday. So this one's similar to the one we've been running for the last few years. This is a Hova Bader. Um, one of the main differences, obviously this window is huge and that's a really awesome feature. But instead of the digital thermometer, it's this, Andrew calls it a wafer something or other. But it's very manual. Um, I like the automatic feedback of the red light that lets you know when your heater is on. And when you adjust it, you can actually watch your temperature climb. So my goal here is to get it up to 100 degrees and we'll hold there. Then we will tighten down this wing nut and basically my temperature should stay pretty darn consistent. So we're actually going to be running a test hatch of duck eggs starting later this week um, on request for my cousin's wife, which we've never done ducks, but I'm kind of excited. I actually mostly just want to put them in the bathtub with the kids. Um, so here we are approaching our 100 degree target on our little thermometer. So I'm going to watch and see if my red light ticks out here shortly. And then I will set my temperature and we're just going to leave it here to cook for the night. Uh, it's a really nice quiet unit. Um, on the inside what I actually like about this one that our little giant styrofoam incubator doesn't have. This one has a plastic tray that goes in the bottom with your water channels. Whereas with the little giant the water channels are carved right into the bottom of the styrofoam. So it's difficult to clean. Um, this one. Can I do this one handed? Sorry guys, I wasn't planning. Hold up. Okay, we're back. So it has this grid, which um, is the very same as what's in the little giant incubator. And that's just to give the chicks something to walk on and stuff when they hatch. But there's this plastic tray in the bottom that I hope, being that it's plastic instead of the porous styrofoam, will be easier to clean. But also it's got really clearly labeled water channels. And in the instruction booklet that comes with it depending on your average ambient humidity it gives you a bit more guidance as to which channels they're numbered here one through four to fill to keep your humidity where you might want it and also this one came with a secondary um like mercury thermometer which you actually would then just go and set right on your eggs um so i'm excited to try this out see how our hatch rates are and get a bunch of our rotwood eggers out into the world.